More than 100 years ago, Nikola Tesla developed a design for the utilization of radiant energy. The details of how to collect this energy and perform work is provided in this animation. The system consists of an insulated plate, as large as possible, the charge collecting antenna. The surface should be clean and highly polished. This plate, the antenna, conveys a positive charge to one terminal of the capacitor. The other capacitor terminal is connected to ground, the most convenient way to obtain negative electricity. Being connected to ground may be considered as a vast reservoir of negative electricity. A trickle current flows continuously into the capacitor. The particles are of inconceivably small size, and consequently charges to a relatively high potential. This charging of the capacitor may continue, almost indefinitely, even to the point of rupturing the dielectric. To control the charge accumulated, a circuit is placed across the capacitor, with a device, a spark gap, indicated by the letter, D. The spark gap, consisting of very thin conducting plates, placed in close proximity, that it will operate, by spark, to close the circuit, when potential in the capacitor has reached a certain magnitude, the accumulated charge will pass across the spark gap, and through this series circuit, to ground. The spark gap should be adjustable. We can utilize this current flowing to ground, by placing an electromagnet in series, indicated by the letter M, and place a movable armature, designated by the letter A, with a retractile spring, indicated by the letter B, and a ratchet wheel, W, provided with a spring pawl, is rotated by armature A, as illustrated by this animation. Stoppage of current, the spark gap, cease to be attracted and separate thus restoring the circuit to its original condition. If the gap is too large, the capacitor or electromagnet may be destroyed. Please comment and subscribe.